Today on Trisha. This is a real life whodunit. $1,300 missing and four suspects. The night that I cashed a check and I put the money in my drawer, my son Carlton was there, my daughter Keisha was there, my friend Dee Dee was there, and my friend Tasha was there. Who stole the cash that was supposed to pay for her son's college education? My kids are suffering because of what you did. Was it her best friend with a shady past? I refuse to lose another friend over somebody else's Or her other friend who has lied to her before. I just feel this is not the right way for us to be dealing with this. Her children also had access to the stash. Did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? By the end of the show, one of them will be proven guilty. She's hiding something. You slept in my bed, you ate my kids' food, and you're gonna take their money like this? But which one? Tempers will flare. Lifelong friendships could end forever. Someone is lying and we are about to find out. Did you take the missing money out of TC's drawer? The polygraph determined that was not being true. Oh, no! A Trisha Whodunit original starts now. <laughs> Please welcome TC. TC says she and her two best friends, Natasha and Dee Dee, they're as close as sisters. So when over $1,000 in cash went missing from TC's bedroom drawer, she refused to believe one of her sisters stole it from her. But now TC claims that Natasha and Dee Dee are the only likely suspects. And she's brought them here to my show to take a lie detector test. Okay, take a look at this. This is a real life whodunit. $1,300 missing, five people in the house, four suspects. The night that I cashed a check and I put the money in my drawer, my son Carlton was there, my daughter Keisha was there, my friend Dee Dee was there, and my friend Tasha was there. TC thinks that her best friends Dee Dee and Tasha are the likely culprits. Dee Dee is a suspect because she's always over the top and dramatic. Since the money's been missing, she's been spending an awful lot of time with me trying to convince me that it's Tasha and not her. Tasha is a prime suspect because I've caught her stealing from me before. Tasha denies stealing the money but has been out of sight and blocked me on Facebook since this all went down. Both Tasha and Dee Dee point fingers at each other, but have agreed to take a lie detector test to prove their innocence. I know my kids did not take this money. The only reason they're taking a lie detector test is so there's no question in their innocence. TC is outraged that her best friends could steal money that they know were being saved for her children. I have one kid in college, I have another kid about to go to college, and my third kid is about to go to high school. I busted my butt to raise my kids by myself. Whoever took this money needs to be and better be ready to be cut from my life. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty tough. Okay, now, TC's children, Keisha and Carlton, were also in the house, as you heard, on the night that TC's cash was allegedly stolen. Now, they're joining us in the audience, and as you heard, they've also agreed to take a lie detector test. We're going to talk to them in just a little while. So, TC, this was just recent, huh? Yes, Friday. Just that a few days passed. ago? Yes. Wow. So, let's start off by trying to work out your relationship with your two friends, Dee Dee and Natasha. Okay. Close? Yes, about 10 years. So, like sisters? Yes, very much so. Have you been there for both of them over yes, this time? Yes, I have. In I've been the best friend that I could possibly be. So, take me back to just a few days ago. So, you go okay. to the bank. Friday, we go to the bank. Right. I go cash the check. Both they're, of them are with you? Yes, they're both are with me. After I get home, I place my purse inside my second drawer. Okay. Who was there when you did that? Both of them. Oh, they both saw that? Yes. So, mm -hmm. when we came back from the bank, I lay down. 
and I try to take like a little quick nap. Right. In the midst of all of that, you know, a couple of hours went by. Um, where were they? Where were they? When they were still in my room. In your um, room. Dee Dee came and laid next to me. She said because she's pregnant. Right. And Tasha, she was still up. So when did you realize that the money was gone? 9 a.m. the next morning when my son Carlton woke me up because I had to give him money to buy a new coat, and right. he was on his way to school. So, so you opened the drawer. And I started pulling my money out, and I noticed that $1,300 was missing. Mind you, I have to pay senior dues, you know? My oldest daughter has to go back to college next week. So where are you going to get the money from? You don't have that money now. I don't have it now. So this is affecting so their I, futures. It's affecting me because I don't have it like that. I'm hurt by this. Like, it really hurt my heart. Yeah. And the crazy thing about it, like, if Natasha didn't take it, she's still a foul friend because wow. she deleted me from Facebook. She deleted me from Instagram. Right. And you're going around talking, telling people this, telling people that. At the end of the day, What's if you love people? me... What's she telling people? That my business is not more important than what she has going on. If I'm your friend, I'm your sister, and you love me, and something like this is going on, you're going to come and you're going to check on me. You're not going to just leave me and just say, oh, whatever, I have things that I have to do, and I'm not going to care about how, I, how she's me, feeling. Let me back. So you discover the money's missing. Mm -hmm. Who did you ring first? Who did you contact first? I called Natasha first. And what did she say? I didn't get an answer first, so I called Danielle. Mind you, she was asleep. Right. Again, she's pregnant. Yeah. So I kept calling Dee Dee. Yeah. Tasha called me back, and I told her, I said, Tasha, my money, $1,300 is missing from out my pocketbook, out my drawer. How she react? She was like, she was really nonchalant about it, and that's what bothered me. What'd she say? Because she was like, oh, well, I didn't really see where you put it, and I wasn't looking. She said, that's fighting money. That's the kind of money you fight over. And that's your daughter. You, so that's you were there. You, daughter. you yes. heard her say that. I was, I was sleeping with her. When I called she was right next I was door right next to me. Like, right oh. next in the bed with me. That made you suspicious, that way she replied? It really did. And then I've spoken to, after that happened, I've spoken to her a couple of times, and it's like, the way she was speaking, okay, granted, everybody have things that they have going on, yeah, yeah. okay? But my thing is, whenever Tasha is in need, Tasha can come to me, and she always has. Yeah. But when Tasha is good, I don't see Tasha. Has she, when, ever, has she ever asked you for money or anything like she that? She asked me. She asked for a loan that night the money got stolen. And she, she, what did you and say? she told me that she would pay me back double. I told her to give me a minute because I have things that I have to sort out first, which is my kid. So let me get this right. The, the, the same night she sees you put that money in the drawer, mm -hmm. she's asking you for a loan, and you're saying, well, chill, just wait a moment. Yeah, because so I didn't have a problem the money. with she that. She needed the money. Yeah, she said she would pay me back double. So did you give her any money at all? No. Okay, now tell me about when you finally got to talk to Dee Dee, to Danielle. What happened then? As soon as Danielle called, Dee Dee called me back, she, I explained to her what happened, and she was hysterical, and she was like... Hysterical? I'm on, yeah, like, oh, my God, that's so wrong. I hope you don't think it's me. She was like, I'm on my way. She said, I hope it, you don't I think... I hope you don't think it's me. I'm on my way. And honestly, she's been there, like supporting me like you know like a real friend should if it, if the shoe was on the other foot and if it was Tasha she knows she got me you can sit there and shake your head but you know it's true you live with me three times Tasha three different times the first time was with your husband the second time was when those two incidents happened and you came I kicked you out three different times let me ask you let me before we come back to this same point did you at any point suspect your children never I raise my kids very well. My kids don't steal. Now, has Tasha or Dee Dee, either one of them, ever stolen anything from you before? When I spoke to Tasha, I had told her that I have went in her colorful bag and I've taken my DVD, like three, four DVDs out Hang of her on, bag. She's, you stole back the stuff she stole in the first place? I took it back out of her bag and I placed it back in my entertainment system where it was at. Too, Don't lie. Casey. Don't lie, because guess what? You took a lie detector test and it's gonna come out, sweetie. It's gonna come out. Tell the truth. It don't matter if it was a piece of lint. It's mine. I don't care what it is. I never did you I wrong. I never did you I wrong. I never did you okay. wrong. You hurt me. My kids is suffering because of what you did, if you did it. And if you didn't do it, you're going to tell me, oh, you don't want to apologize. You don't want to be friends. 
How you gonna say that? No? Oh, but when your ass was in need, and every time and I, I turn around, that. who was there for you? I, I could have turned my back on you. No. You're crying. I feel like crying too. All right, let's, let's, let's cool it down because I think it's time to, to bring out Natasha. Natasha, come on out. Whoa. So, Natasha, what's got you so upset? Because I love TC dearly, and this whole situation hurts me to the core. Tasha, what, I being love accused? you too. But at the end of the day, when you love somebody, <laughs> you be there for, for them. When when you're in need and you're going through your stuff, do I not be there for you? I, agree. I listen to you. Tasha, when this stuff happened, I was frantic. At the end of the day, I'm busting my You know what I'm going through. So let's, let's hear her version of what happened that okay. night. Take me through <sighs> what happened that day. Did you ask TC to loan you money? Absolutely. I you did. did. Yeah, I'll openly admit that. And what did she tell you? She told me that she would, you know, let me know after she sorted out everything. And at first, Danielle was in the chair. Yeah. She was sitting in the chair sleeping. Are you, do you, let me stop you right there and ask you outright. Do you think Dee Dee took the money? I don't want to say that Dee Dee took the money because I did not see her do it. What do, do you it. think? What do you feel? I think that it was either Danielle or it, somehow got misplaced. I don't know, but I know that I didn't do it. Now, have you two seen each other since this happened? No, we haven't. Why not? Because I got really upset. If you have a friend that's been there for you through thick and thin, and out of one time, out of all these years, I may need somebody a shoulder to cry on, then you bail out on that. me, and then you don't even want to be my friend no TC, more. TC, then say that. I don't have to. You should know that. You though. should know that as a I friend. Know that already, when you call you me, publicly Tasha, when, you when I just said, no, 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 no. Hang on, just a minute. We also heard from TC that you have stolen from her before. I am not going to say that at all. I did not steal. I had almost 400 D DVDs in a box before you left. When you left, I noticed a lot of things was going down and getting missing. I went over there by my computer, and when I went over and I leaped down, I saw my reggae C -C. CDs in your thing, and I took it out C -C. and I showed I my mother and my daughter. I never put that so, in there. So how did they get in your bag? I never said anything because I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to. It should have never been in your bag. Uh, if you didn't say, TC, I'm gonna take these to bar or whatever. It okay. should have been in your Look, bag. And Natasha, let me ask you. how this is going down because... Are you still gonna be friends after this? I can't. If you feel this negatively towards me to bring me on TV... At the end of the day, it's not about you. It's not about Dee Dee. It's about my money that got stolen that belongs to my kids. Okay. That's what it's about. Okay. That's what it's about. Okay. But as grown women, TC, we're not supposed to okay, be let's up take, here let's, doing let's... this. All right, so... What are you going to do, and we've yet to talk to Dee Dee and hear her side, what are you going to do if either of your two friends know anything about this theft, or even your children? What are you going to do to that? What happened? That's kind of weird. $1,300 don't walk out of the pocketbook out of the you. drawer. I I'm not feeling that. You, I'm not. OK, let's, let's take a break, because this is a real life Who done it? Who stole the money? When we come back, we hear Dee Dee's side of the story, and we reveal the results of everyone's lie detector tests. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next. I just feel this is not the right way for us to be dealing with this. Who do you think stole the money? The one that started pointing the finger first. Who was that? This one. <laughs> Later, Tempers will flare. Oh, 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 Love, lies, and larceny. Today on Trisha. Um, we've been talking to TC, who's here to catch the crook, the thief who stole $1,300 in cash from her very own bedroom drawer. Now, unfortunately, the prime suspects in this whodunit are her two very best friends, Natasha here uh, and Dee Dee, who's backstage. We also met TC's two children, Carlton and Keisha, who were in the house that night as well. Now, I should tell you, everyone has taken a lie detector test. We'll get those results in a moment. Now, what got you so upset during the commercial break, Natasha? 
because we're like sisters. I just feel this is not the right way for us to be dealing with this. We shouldn't be here doing all of this melodramatic. Okay, so check this out. If we shouldn't be here, no. When I called you and explained to you and told you everything that went down, you as a friend and loving me as a sister, you should have immediately came over there to see what was going on with me. Because if, it, if the shoe was on the other foot, I would have done okay. that for you. Let's let's meet the other suspect. Let's meet Dee Dee. <laughs> so Dee Dee, um, all three of you are very close friends. No, this is an acquaintance. That's my best friend. That's my sister. You call Natasha an acquaintance? She's an acquaintance. She ain't a friend of mine. I agree. But you were all there that night? Yeah, we were all there that night. Who do I you... was sleeping the entire time. I can't believe that I'm here. TC know I love them. Kids know I love them. Who do you think stole the money? The one that started pointing the finger first. Who was that? This one. <laughs> what do you mean, pointing the finger because first? Because this is what she did. This is what she did. She, when TC spoke to her, she said, well, everything is pointing toward Dee Dee. Everything is pointing toward Dee Dee. So TC <laughs> called me and told me this. I said, how the hell is everything pointing at me when I was asleep the entire time I was there? I said, look at the person who was in the room by themselves. Because there the... was a point that you were in the room by yourself. But what surely you're I... both sus, I don't right? You? Sure, sure am. So tell me what happened on that night after you went... I went into TC bed and went to sleep. Did you see her put the money in the drawer? Yes, absolutely. But... You were in that room the whole time? The entire time. So wouldn't you have heard if somebody came in? I was asleep. I was knocked out. I'm three months pregnant. I can't... There is no waking up. I'm tired. You, you were out of it. I'm gone. So when uh, TC finally calls you the next day mm -hmm. and says the money's gone, what was your reaction? I was like, what do you mean your money gone? How the hell did that happen? I said, you know what, TC? I hope you don't think I did it to you. I'm on my way over there right now. Do you see anything suspicious in the fact that Natasha didn't do that? Absolutely. Really? Why? Because real friends, if a friend go through something, you gonna be there. Just like TC was there for her ass, she should have been there for TC. Maybe she couldn't. Exactly. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie because the night before, the night before she was supposed to stay there, she went out on a little date. She said she was coming back. Then all of a sudden, the next day, it's a different story. What are you insinuating? What are you saying? She all made it up. All of a sudden, now your plans are different. Now, all of a sudden, now you have this mysterious baby shower to go to when you're supposed to be going to a birthday party with TC the that, that, that day. I really? never said anything about a baby shower. TC, am I lying? Yes, you did. You know I did yes, not. She did. Tasha, maybe yes, she you did. wasn't. No, I did not. How she if was... the baby shower pictures were on Facebook already? I don't know about no Facebook baby shower exactly. pictures. Exactly. All I know is about what you told me. For you, Tasha, I can quote exactly everything that you said to me on the phone because as soon as I hung up the phone, my kids was right there and I was furious. I said, why is she mm. acting so nonchalant about the situation? But just a minute, could, uh, are you thinking along someone else on the outside might say that, and I'm just putting this out mm -hmm. there, that Dee Dee is kind of siding with you and ganging up against Natasha because exactly secretly she happening. might be guilty. I told TC I would take the test first. I was the one that recommended the test. And okay? How, and how, and was, I, I told, how was Natasha? I told her the same thing. I said, um, she asked me, well, did you speak to Dee Dee? I said, yes. I said, she told me that we should do a lie detector test. And how was Natasha about coming and doing at a lie detector? At first, she didn't like really say anything about it, but then when I spoke to her again, she was like, you know what? Yeah, I want to do this. She was all with it. That's why now you're <laughs> yeah. acting like you're not with it. But when I talked to you about it, Yo, she was like, yes, I want to hurry up and get so this. So I'm lying. Well, well, you, you, you said, said, that's the point. Well, you said, hang you on, said hang on. that Danielle agreed to take the lie detector test. You said, would you be open to that? And I said, absolutely, I would be open to that. That's because what I, I just know said. for a fact that. It didn't happen. I agreed without a hesitation. Straight away. No. Not a line. Not so. No, not a line. All right, let me, let me move it along. Just a minute. Three. Okay, let, let me move it along. The Facebook page. I heard the remark that she said where, it was point, where all the things were pointing at me. I said, oh, really? I went up on Facebook. I said, listen, won't you just be real and admit that you did that? Don't put me in the midst of anything because I was sleeping the entire time. Why put it on Facebook? Actually, Why not that call is her? not what you said at all. Oh, what did at she all. say? You what know did what? she say? Admit that you did it. Actually, that's what you said. 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 Actually, that's what you said.
First off, Cabbage, I'm going to delete you. Natasha, 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 are you serious? All of the wild, crazy I'm mess that you on say on Facebook. All and the crazy mess wow. that you say on anything. Facebook. Didi, do you, you think? You are too. Hang on, just a minute. Never, I got hey, more than what hey, you got, boo. Hey. Always gonna have more. I got my kids. How about you? Whoa! Don't get low. Come on, come on. Let's. let's... I don't have anything bad to say. No. About neither one of them. I really just want this over. Let's exactly. get these results going. Yeah, cause that's yeah, it. That's it. That's all right. Let's get that over with. We I will. Move on. We're gonna take a break. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. When we come back, we will get the results of everyone's lie detector test. Stay tuned. Next, I want to know about TC's kids. Did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? Later, tempers will flare. Lies and larceny. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Okay, well, as you can understand, feelings are really running high. I guess you could call this a real case of a, a who done it. And I guess you can also say it's time to expose the guilty party. So here to help us get to the truth is our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. <laughs> now. Before we get to these very angry two women sitting up here, the two main suspects, I do want to know prime about suspects. prime. Well, prime suspects. Okay, <laughs> I want to know about TC's kids. So let's start with Keisha. Okay. Sure. So, Tim, I will read the questions. Um, I'll say what Keisha said to them, and Tim's going to tell us whether she was telling the truth or not. So, we asked Keisha, "Do you want the truth to come out today?" She said, "Yes." Tim? The polygraph determined that Keisha was being truthful. Okay. We asked Keisha, did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Keisha was being truthful. We asked Keisha, do you know for sure who took that missing money from your mother's drawer? Keisha said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Keisha was being truthful. Okay. So that's... That's your daughter in the clear. So your son, Carlton, let's ask the same questions of him. Um, so Carlton's lie detector results. We asked Carlton, do you want the truth to come out today? Carlton said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carlton was being truthful. We asked Carlton, did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? Carlton said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carlton was being truthful. We asked Carlton, do you know for sure who took that missing money from your mother's drawer? Carlton said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Carlton was being truthful. So that has cleared both children. Were you in any doubt that they'd be anything? No, you, no. you knew they'd be innocent. Exactly. Okay. So, does anybody have anything to say before we move on bef no, with the I next result? No, I just want this out. <laughs> okay. You just want to get this yep. over with. So, let me see. Who are we coming to first of the two ladies? Um, brings us to Natasha and Dee Dee. Now, uh, before we reveal their test results, I just want to mention that Dee Dee is currently pregnant. That's why she was sleeping. We talked about that. Three months pregnant and therefore could not be tested by a polygraph. So, so we had Tim, a renowned private detective, conduct a thorough, a thorough criminal investigation on Dee Dee. So, Tim, tell us, what did you uncover? Trisha, as you know, I'm a retired New York City detective. I've literally investigated 
hundreds if not thousands of crimes in the city of New York over a 20 year span. I have investigated many burglaries, larcenies in this situation. It's borderline burglary. She was invited into the home, so it's a larceny. Yeah. Um, Can you tell if somebody's lying? I mean, not to the degree of a, a lie detector machine, but has that experience told you when someone's acting shadily or trying to cover something up? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I ask certain questions that I expect very, very straight out answers to. I ask Dee Dee, they're basically like trick questions mm -hmm. yeah. that I'm trained to, to, you know, to do during an investigation and during an interview. And what did See, you every, find out? See, every interrogation yeah. starts out as an interview. I asked Dee Dee many, many questions. The questions I went over with her, mm -hmm. In my opinion, she's absolutely being truthful here. Okay. <laughs> Didi had nothing to do with I'm the money a, being stolen. Okay, let, sorry, okay. let's hear Tim. Sorry. She had nothing to do with Didi that. Didi had absolutely nothing to do with that money being stolen. Didi came here with the intentions of taking a polygraph test. She was actually upset that she couldn't take it. And I'm still upset about it. Okay. Okay, now, Tim, how did Natasha respond? I'm guessing, did you give her the same line of questioning? Yes, I did, um, coupled with the polygraph. I ask the same type of investigative questions where I'm looking for certain responses. Um, okay, so shall we come to her? Absolutely, Lie Trisha. detector test results, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so we asked Tasha, do you want the truth to come out today? And uh, Natasha said, yes. Tim. The polygraph determined, Natasha, Next, it's down to one final suspect. Did you take the missing money out of TC's drawer? The polygraph determined Natasha. Oh, no! Emotions will run hot. You are the fan. Get off my stage. Love, lies, and larceny. Today on Trisha. This is a real life whodunit. $1,300 missing, five people in the house, four suspects. The night that I cashed a check and I put the money in my drawer, my son Carlton was there, my daughter Keisha was there, my friend Dee Dee was there and my friend Tasha was there. I want to know about TC's kids. Did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? You said no. Keisha was being truthful. We asked Carlton, did you take that money your mother is missing from her drawer? Carlton said no. Carlton was being truthful. I asked Dee Dee, they're basically like trick questions. In my opinion, she's absolutely being truthful. So we are Natasha, do you want the truth to come out today? And uh, Natasha said, yes. Tim. The polygraph determined Natasha was not being truthful. Oh. Now, I don't know what this says, and she deserves, she deserves to be heard, and she deserves to <laughs> sit there without being threatened by violence. You want to get this money back to you, OK, hang on. Let's find out. Tim, I'm going to keep going. You might have judged her. I haven't as yet. We asked Natasha, has she ever stolen from TC? Natasha said no. It's a lie. Hang on, Tim. The polygraph determined Natasha was not being truthful. <laughs> We asked her, did you take the missing money. money out of TC's drawer? Natasha <laughs> said no. Tim? The polygraph determined Natasha was not being truthful. Oh, no! Hang on, hang on. I knew it. 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 I knew it
missing money from the draw. Natasha said no. Tim? The polygraph determined Natasha was not being truthful. Oh. Uh, I told Trisha, you, TC. Oh Trisha, Trisha. Hang on, let me hear Tim, let me hear what Tim has to say. Listen. Trisha, listen. one of the things that I look for are how people act and they respond. Right. Just from Tasha coming out here, I saw her cry, I saw her laugh, and I saw her frozen sitting there. You, both of you didn't do that at all because you told the truth. She's hiding something. If you look at the tape and rewind, you're gonna see her crying, then she's <laughs> giggling and laughing, and then she's just frozen in her seat. During the oh, test, she, she was trying to control her breathing. That's pure countermeasures. I warned her over and over and over again. It didn't help her during the test. She still failed. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> What That's are you? The reason why I want to come here because I lost a really good friend when I was a kid over the same thing. I hear what you're and saying. And I never did anything, okay. so I refuse to lose another friend over somebody else's pull. All right, sweetheart, I hear what you're saying, but here's the fact: violence is not going to sort it out or it's get not, the money back. But, but now maybe. But, but let's now let's find sore. out. Let's find out. Maybe we want to find out what's behind it. Everybody she's has a story. She's going to jail. That's it. Well, hey, hey, That's hey. It. You've known her for ten years. Do you want to at least have some answers? I want, I want but After all you've been through? <laughs> because why would you do that? So, TC, you and I will go backstage. You sit here, okay? And, <laughs> all right, you stay there. All right, sweetheart. Next, the truth is out. You took my kids' Take money, Tasha! You took my Will Natasha own up to her crime? You slept in my bed, you ate my kids' food, and you're gonna take their money like this? Yeah, I didn't take that money. Tasha, where the money is at? and larceny today on Trisha this is a real-life whodunit $1,300 missing five people in the house four suspects I want to know about TC's kids Keisha was being truthful Carlton was being truthful I asked Dee Dee they're basically like trick questions in my opinion she's absolutely being truthful we asked Natasha, did you take the missing money out of TC's drawer? Natasha said no. Natasha was not being truthful. Oh! 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 Take a deep breath. TC, I did not steal that money. I was very nervous Natasha. during that test. Okay, this is karmic because I've done a lot of bad stuff in my life. And the one time that I'm sitting here being super honest about something, my anxiety and all of it, I can't. Yeah, but can't. The, this is what the lie detector takes all of that into consideration. What did I do? Didn't I come up with another question for you regarding the DVDs? What was the I question? Didn't steal let's hear that. Money. Let, let, let me, just let me finish what I'm saying. I have to. Just let me hear. Hey, 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 okay. let's hear him through. We discussed the CDs and the DVDs. I explained right. to you they could be DVDs, they could be CDs. You understood what the question meant. You said to me, well, you know what, Tim? Those are mine. I put them in my bag because I wanted to take them back. Yep. So I said, okay. So let me make a new question. During the test, I made up a new question. The new question was, were the CDs that were placed in the bag your CDs? Yeah. And you said to me, I'm not going to answer that. I don't have that money. Okay, okay. let's come back to the one I, I just said. What did you do with it? One, one of the things, I didn't do anything with hang it. Hang on, one of the things I said to you was, which question did you pass? And you didn't know which question you passed. She actually passed one, didn't she, Tim? Yes, she did. Which question did she pass? Did you see where TC put the money after she cashed the check? You said yes to me, you passed that question. So you were telling the truth then, so the I machine is working. Did 
did you borrow we it? No, I didn't. I don't have any money on me. My family would know if I had money. I don't a, have any. Were you in a situation? No. My cell phone is off right now. If I stole it, I would have paid my cell phone bill. Don't you think? It's off. Call my cell phone after this, do you see? How the money? No, Tasha. See, no, I love you, no, but I no, can't no. do this friendship no. anymore. What you mean you can't do this friendship anymore? You took She's my so kid's mad. money, Tasha. You took my kid's Take money, care. Tasha. Take you took my kid's money. I didn't take my money. I was nothing but there for you, Tasha. Yeah, I was I nothing but there money. for you. I never did you wrong. You slept in my bed, you ate my kids' food, and you're gonna take their money like this? See, I didn't take that money. Tasha, where the money is at? I don't know. Where's the I, I money? I don't have it, TC. Oh, my I'm God. Don't and you really it. gonna still sit here in my face and tell me you didn't take my kids' money? I feel like this is crazy. I love TC. I know, but don't jump into her fight for her. I have to. No, you yes. all kind of money at my house, Tasha. You did not never get it. We can call the person Yo, out. This is so up because it's not right. When somebody love you and they care for you, you be there for them. See, I'm you, the you, you do right by them. This is not fair. Tasha, no. I did not take What's that fair money. is my kids' money is missing. I didn't and take that still money. Don't you think that public humiliation is enough? No, it's not. It's not. And if she wants to press charges, let the law do the rest, not you. So you get in trouble with the police, and this lady ends up with zero friends. That makes sense, huh? She's not going to end up with zero All friends. Right. Not to be quite honest. If I end up locked up, guess what? I'm still going to be a down. friend what when I saying? come home. It's all saying, the same sweetheart? thing. Just a minute. What are you saying? You said talking some sense. What At the end of the day, Didi, you're a mother. A your damn son is listen, listen. your son is my god brother. Right. Your mother, calm down. You don't have to act the fool. At the end of the day, if she really did take the money, God is gonna take care of her. Don't act like a fool for these people. Don't act like a fool. What's gonna happen next? I had a feeling that it was her because her move went, her movements was too shady. Right. And just like I said, me knowing Tasha, I think I know her better than she know herself. Right. Because me knowing her, she would have been came over. Mm -hmm. And for her to stay away... So maybe the first thing that you need to do, maybe the first thing that you need to do is not get in more trouble yourselves. And I think your daughter has spoken the, the wisest, wisest her. words. You got her. Okay. I got her. Look, I, I, I really wish you well. Trisha, okay. thank you. I'm thank sorry you. that you had to hear such bad news thank here. Thank you. Okay. You, you, oh, you take care of yourself, sweetheart. All, All right. right. Thank you so much. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Next. What happened after the cameras stopped rolling? Updates on today's guests. You are the fire. You're up on stage. Love, lies, and larceny. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We wanted to give you updates on the stories that appeared on today's episode. And as always, we waited until the last minute before this show aired to get you the most accurate information. So here's today's Trisha Airdate update. TC says she's been working day and night to save enough money for her children's college fund. Keisha is off to school this week and barely has enough money to afford her books. TC says she's still undecided as to whether or not she wants to press charges. A close friend of Natasha's has offered to pay TC back some of the money if she does not press charges. Dee Dee is doing her best to have a stress-free pregnancy. She's moved back home. We'll be right back. Love, lies and larceny. Today on Trisha. I want to thank you for joining me today. And remember, if it's the truth you're looking for, you know where to come. See you tomorrow.